Good morning, I'm Phil Dawson from Binger in Australia. Today we're going to be discussing uh, some, some of the techniques that I use to get a horse neck reining, um, the horsemanship part of it, um, the part that relates about the cow and, and ultimately how the practical application of that and how it's going to help. Is there a common thing you sort of see amateurs or non-pros struggle with? I, I certainly think uh, the, the, probably the biggest one is momentum. Like, and I'll, I'll talk about that a lot in the cuts. You know, I think with, I mean, from the whole time, you know, from we, when we start riding a horse, you know, when you when you release your feet or, or you quit riding from the from very from first ride, you want your horse to stop. You know, so I think, uh, and the cow of the horse, the the more they feel the pressure from that cow. So, I think having that momentum in the cut is so important. And, and about my feet, while I'm cutting, like when I drive to the herd, when I walk to the herd, I want my horse to feel my legs. When I'm driving through the herd, I want my horse to feel my feet. So even this is about neck reining, which we're focusing on, it's, it's, it's a lot about my legs, you know, and, and I think um, when, you know, a lot I see in the, in the non-pro and the amateur events is in particular is when they get into that cut, you know, I talk lots about people not not finishing that cut with that momentum. They'll kind of get it 80% done, they'll get the, the, the beast in the correct spot and just don't finish it. And then when you, I think can, momentum for me when you're cutting your cow is you either have it or the cow has it. And I always want to have it. It's got to be all about me. If I lose momentum in the cut and then the cow starts coming back at me within the cut, then, the, then I'm immediately in a defensive mode. So. Um, that momentum is everything, and, it's, and, it's, and for me that momentum is about my feet. So even if I'm coming through the herd, and I, that outside rain is something I use a lot of, even with my twos, which, we'll, which we're going to ride a couple of two-year-olds a bit later, and I want those horses to, when I lay that outside rain on their neck, that that habit is, is built from a two-year-old, from the first time I get that horse from the breaker, I'm about teaching that horse, again, my reins give my horse direction and my feet ride that horse in the direction that I want to go. So here I've got a little bit of it, direct rein, tipping that nose into that circle and that whole time that horse is feeling that outside rein. So when I want to tighten that circle up, release that inside foot, there, outside rein, push, push, release my feet. So even here it's a lot about my, that getting that neck rein for me is a lot about that that pressure release with that foot. So I'm just pressure, pressure, and then squeeze with my feet and then release. Outside rein, pressure, pressure, pressure with their feet and then release. And when I'm cutting, you know, it's, um, and I practice cutting one-handed every day, even in a snaffle, <clears throat> I'm thinking about practicing that one-handed on my young horses. So I'm gonna point my hand at the cow's eye. feet, so it's, it's right foot, left foot, two feet, right foot, and release, like I spoke about. And then I, I think about my steering a lot about, I always talk about that 80% feet, 20% hands, you know, if I feel like I've got my horses in my feet well, um, and then it's just, and then that, the rain gives them direction and my feet ride them in the direction I want them to go. So that is something I concentrate a lot on. And